hard work and a whole lot of school would have it once some Patillo has taken it out. You must be feeling on top of the world right now. Yes, ma'am. I'm just thankful to be here and uh, be able to do a good job and show my horse good. So for anybody who doesn't know, this is your third title in the Will Rogers this year at 16 years of age. That's quite accomplished. Thank you. So you had two horses in this final today. What was your strategy? Um, just to cut clean and show my horse and hopefully had a little gas left in him. <laughs> so take us through your run then. Um, most of it's a blur, but um, first cow, I'm trying to think of what the first cow was. I think it was a mop. No, it was a cherry um, with a dime in a neck. And it was a good cow, a fast cow. And I thought, I, I didn't know if I was going to be able to hold it or not, but I finally was able to get off of it. But, and then my second cow, um, I honestly can't remember what cow it was. Um, it doesn't matter. But it was, it was a good cow, and I just gray wanted horn. to cut clean. Oh, gray horn. And uh, it was a good cow. We liked it from the start, and thankfully it didn't get cut before then, and it and ended up being a good cow. And sec my last cow was just, uh, I can't remember it, but it was, a, it, was a good cow to, <laughs> it was a good cow to end on, and I was happy to get through it and cut clean and do a, a, he, the horse does best. Now, High Silent CD has had a lot of uh, runs at this show. Um, still came out looking very energetic. How do you manage that? We just try to take care of him and keep him in the best shape we can and just that's really all it is to it. Spawn him a lot and try to take care of him. So are you going to give the horse a little break or are you going to keep showing? Yes ma'am. Give him a big break. <laughs> it's a well deserved one. Now um, tell me, you're been, you've been cutting for how long? Three years. Okay. So what you've managed to do is really remarkable. What is it that you think is um, being the key to your success so far? Well, the good horse helps, but just um, consistency. You know, try to do the same thing every time and not, like I said yesterday, not try to overdo anything and um, just try to be the same thing every time we go out there. You're a real competitor. How do you mentally prepare coming into this? Calm. Try to stay calm. And how do you do that? Um, well, first of all, I have a Every, the people that get my horse ready do a good job, so I don't worry about it, I don't stress about it. And um, I've got people that help me out there that are good help. Randy Chartier, Tommy Dvorak, R.L. Chartier, and Cullen Chartier. And do, you, do you watch your cows? Yes, ma'am. So do you try to memorize them and have that discussion, have a bit of ownership in what you cut? Yes, ma'am. What do you like? What's a cow that you like to cut? One that, um, you know, is low-headed, it has good feel, but doesn't, doesn't want to run, run when you it just kind of gets away a little bit, not something too wild. So is this something you want to seriously pursue as you get older? Yes, ma'am. Like in terms of training? Maybe as a hobby. <laughs> I don't think my parents would let me do this as a full-time job. <laughs> so tell me, um, how did you actually get into this? Um, well, long story actually, but basically just driving a, a, um, down the road and we stumbled upon a ranch and my dad pressed a bunch of buttons on the gate code couldn't get in and then it kind of just started from there but it was a wild situation well how do you go from punching you know the gate code in to becoming um, a three-time will rogers champion well if you knew my father you'd know why <laughs> <laughs> okay that sounds like a good story at another time definitely going to get into that one um it's been a pleasure looking forward to seeing what else you achieve thanks for joining us Langston. thank you Okay, thanks to Patello, three-time World Rogers Champion just this year.